Could this be the most underrated amino acid to improve our health? In this video, what I'm gonna do is take a look at some of the benefits associated with L-histidine, the very basic essential amino acid for our health. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Ergogenic Health. And my mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. So if you're brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. So ultimately in today's video, let's take a look at some of the amazing benefits of L-histidine that not many people know about. But first of all, let's take a look at what is L-histidine. L-histidine is an essential amino acid, meaning that it must be obtained through dietary sources. It is also one of the 23 proteinogenic amino acids, which are used to synthesize proteins. L-histidine is a precursor to histamine, which plays an essential role in localized immune responses and then also influences our brain function. It is also the precursor for other important organic compounds such as anserine and L-carnosine, which many of you will already know about. Let's take a look at some of the L-histidine rich foods that we have access to. Now, most histidine is obtained from the diet, mainly in the form of proteins, and its content in proteins of animal sources like meat, chicken, and fish is around 25 to 30 milligrams per gram. And in plant proteins like soybean, kidney beans, peas, oats, and wheat is around 20 to 30 milligrams per gram. However, what's important to note is that animal sources are a better source due to higher content of other amino acids. High amounts of histidine have been detected in dried bonito broth, a food ingredient used commonly in Japanese meals called dashi. Bonito is commonly consumed fish, dried Dried bonito broth is used more frequently than beef or chicken bouillon for soup stock. Interestingly, what I really want to point out here is that although L-histidine is rich in these foods, one thing to bear in mind is that supplementation often has a more potent, a more powerful effect on our health due to the fact that it's not competing with all of these other amino acids for you know, entry into the brain and um, activity in the body. So one really important point to note is that L-histidine in supplemental form is something that I'm really excited about and something that I've personally been doing for quite some time. What's really important to note is how L-histidine fits into the grand scheme of things. One important point here to realize is that L-histidine is part of the essential amino acid list. So you can see histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, valine. These are all the essential amino acids, which means that we need to get it either through um, our diet or through supplementation. Then you can see the conditionally non-essential and then the non-essential amino acids. So what makes L-histidine so special in supplemental form? Well, I'm really excited to you know outline some of these amazing benefits that again, are not well discussed in the health communities and also just appear to be neglected. So let's dive into them. The first study that really caught my eye was the ability of L-histidine to exert a beneficial effect on fat loss. Now, this particular study was titled, Histidine Supplementation Improves Insulin Resistance Through Suppressed Inflammation in Obese Women with Metabolic Syndrome, a randomized controlled trial. The study basically administered L-histidine at two grams twice daily for 12 weeks versus placebo. And basically what they wanted to do was observe some of the effects that L-histidine would have on you know, body composition. So interestingly, uh, BMI and waist circumference and body fat declined in the histidine supplemented group relative to the placebo group. And the average fat loss in the histidine group was a robust 2.71 kilograms. Markers of systemic inflammation such as serum uh, tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNF alpha, and interleukin-6, uh, non-esterified fatty acids and oxidative stress also decreased in the histidine group. For the sake of safety, you know, the author selected four grams per day for this study, and it was a 12-week intervention. And no 
you know, observed side effects were noted. There were no changes in liver enzymes or kidney variables. And so what's interesting is that the um, histidine group you know, barely noticed any major side effects. So the next study is basically looking at the effects of L-histidine on EPO. Now, EPO is something that is often used by athletes to improve performance. EPO stimulates the production of red blood cells, so it does have a powerful ergogenic effect. Now, this study was titled Effects of L-Histidine Supplement on Treatment of Renal Anemia Using Erythropoiesis Stimulating Agents in patients with advanced chronic kidney disease. Now, what's really interesting is that the histidine treatment group noted a significant increase in hemoglobin and hematocrit after eight weeks of supplementation. And the authors basically concluded that these results suggest that L-histidine supplements stimulated the effects of ESAs on renal anemia through reduced oxidative stress to the iron metabolism in patients with chronic kidney disease. The question I ask myself is whether or not L-histidine would have a EPO stimulatory effect in healthy adults. You know, this particular study does appear that it, you know, is beneficial in patients with chronic kidney disease and with erythropoiesis stimulating agents. But, you know, we've seen some other literature that also suggests that L-histidine does stimulate EPO production. So this particular study was titled, Histidine Suppresses Food Intake Through Its Conversion Into Neuronal Histamine. Again, L-histidine may be able to suppress appetite and appetite is often one of the markers or I guess one of the symptoms of dieting that you know often gets you know, very difficult to handle, you know, let's think about using L-histidine as a potential appetite suppressant. Now, this particular study was really cool. Let's take a look at the effects of L-histidine on brain fog. This study was conducted in 2015, and the study was titled "The Effect of Histidine on Mental Fatigue and Cognitive Performance in Subjects with High Fatigue and Sleep Disruption Scores." Now, what's interesting is that the subjects in the study that received histidine noted improvements in working memory, clear thinking, and attentiveness. So the subjects basically noted wakefulness promoting effects, and we're seeing that the subjects you know, reported nootropic-like effects, which is, again, something that many of us are looking for. You know, a lot of us are looking for compounds that are you know, non-stimulant based, maybe not caffeine, that can improve alertness, attention, and focus. And L-histidine, based on this study, appears to you know, possess some of these potential effects. And from my experience using L-histidine at four grams per day, it without a doubt improves my wakefulness and also my general alertness. And in some cases, it was actually so powerful that it was impacting on my ability to fall asleep, which is, again, signs that it basically has some degree of nootropic-like effects. Now, what's also important to note is that L-histidine can reduce eczema. This is traditionally what you see L-histidine prescribed for from a naturopathic perspective and also you know, in health food stores. This particular study was titled, L-histidine supplementation in adults and young children with atopic dermatitis and L-histidine had a beneficial effect on eczema. The next study was titled, Histidine ameliorates elastase and lipopolysaccharide-induced lung inflammation by inhibiting the activation of the NLRP3 inflammasome. So we can see that L-histidine through oral administration in humans has been shown to suppress inflammation. And this particular study looks at the potential mechanisms by which Alhistidine can lower inflammation. Now, one other point to note, and this is quite important for those that suffer from digestive distress, bloating, you know, poor ability to handle protein or high protein meals, is that alhistidine can enhance stomach acid production. A lot of people use uh, pure betaine hydrochloride or other things to stimulate stomach acid, while alhistidine can be added to the list as a standalone ingredient that can improve stomach acid production. This particular study was titled, Histidine Stimulated Acid Secretion in the Conscious Rat is Mediated by Amino Acid Uptake System. So again, we're seeing L-histidine possess a stimulatory effect on gastric acid production, which is gonna lead to better absorption of our nutrients, of our um, you know nutrients from our food. 
So you're probably wondering about dosages with L-histidine. Between 2,000 milligrams to 4,000 milligrams per day has been used in these studies. And I personally like to use it on an empty stomach away from food. So there's no competing amino acids for uptake. You will see L-histidine linked in the video description down below if you do want to purchase. I look at L-histidine as a versatile amino acid similar to that of uh, taurine. You guys know that I love taurine. So this is another one that we can sort of add to our list of, you know, wonderful amino acids. I might also point out that there are some cautions associated with megadosing L-histidine. It does appear that histidine may lower zinc, uh, copper and or iron levels in the body, but this is only after, you know, months of very, very high dosing. So in this situation, it's important that we get our blood work monitored and checked just to make sure that we're not depleting any of these important minerals in our body. So thanks everyone for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something new and hopefully L-histidine excites you as much as it does for me. Please do like the video if you haven't already. Check out the link in the video description to purchase L-histidine if you want to. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.